Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making this awesome cakes and candles baby blanket, or any size blanket really, you just keep going. We start in the center and work our way out until you've either used up your yarn or your blanket is the size you'd like it to be. It's a super easy pattern. There's just two rows that repeat and there's a great way of remembering what you need to do. So you'll have it in your head and it'll work up really quick. So let's get started. To make the cakes and candle baby blanket or any size blanket, you're gonna need your yarn. I'm using this Magic Decay from Ice Yarn. It's 100% acrylic, 100 gram balls, 340 meters, and I am using a five millimeter hook. Another way of doing it is looking for a 100 gram ball that is 340 meters long, because that'll give you about the same thickness, same weight, same length, anything is interchangeable. That'll give you the exact same blanket that I have with my five millimeter hook or very close to it with your tension. But really what you can do is use any yarn that you have and just the hook that goes along with it. If your yarn label gives you a choice of hook between maybe like a five millimeter or a six millimeter or a four millimeter and a five millimeter, the trick is to pick the larger size and that'll give you a nice soft blanket. Smaller the hook, the denser the, the texture will be making, the denser the blanket, and the less drapey and soft it will be. So use the largest size that is suggested for your yarn. I used three balls of this yarn for my blanket, which me measures 34 inches across, and it's square, so both ways is 34 inches. And that is also about 1,000 meters of a size three thickness of yarn. So you can use any kind of yarn you have, any sort of deliciousness, it'll work up great. And don't worry about it being variegated or changing colors. You can just use one color and it'll still turn out super great. So let's get started. So put your tail over your non-dominant hand and just make a slip knot. You don't need to leave a very long tail, but I just wrap it and poke it through. But there's nicer ways of doing a slip knot. I just do it like I did when I was a kid. So whoever you wanna make a slip knot, just go ahead and do it. Shrink it down and put it onto your hook. Now we're gonna do a chain four. So just push your hook onto your yarn, turn it and bring it through. So that's one, two, three, and four. And now we're gonna turn that into a ring. So we're just gonna count it to make sure we have our four chains. So we don't count what's on our hook and we don't count the knot that we started with. We just count these V's in between. So there's one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna go into the very first one we made. So just down here. So take your hook and just push it into that first V. And now get yourself situated. So I have the two loops on my hook and I hold it this way. I wanna get my finger to hold that center part open. I wanna hold that open with my finger and my thumb. I just have them touching so that stays open. And now grab your yarn and take off both those loops. So slide it through those two loops on your hook and now we've made a ring. I'm still holding it open with my thumb and my finger and chain three. One, two, and three. Wrap your yarn, go into the ring, grab your yarn and bring it back wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off. Two. So there is our chain and our first double crochet. We need to do 15 double crochets in total. So with our chain, it counts as 16. So wrap your yarn and go into the center of that ring. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. So we're just gonna do that. the whole way around and we're gonna have 15 double crochets and a chain three for a total of 16. So pause the video and get that done and meet me back. So now if you count your chain three, you should have 16. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 16. So we're gonna slip stitch to join and where we're going to join is the top of this chain three. So this stitch or these strands right on top of that double crochet do not count. We wanna go into the top of this chain three. So if you look, there's a little V hiding down here. So there's one, two, and three. 
we want to just go into that one on the side. This the chain right after the first double crochet or the top of the chain three. So just push your hook in. You want to get two loops of that stitch on your hook like that, two loops. Grab your yarn and bring it through and through. So there is a slip stitch, chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. Now if you've worked over your tail, you can just cut it off now. So wrap your yarn and we're gonna go into the very same place that we made our chain. So just right into this very first spot here same space we started our chain, wrap your yarn and make one double crochet like that. So how to see your stitches, our chain is there so that chain has two double crochets on top of it and then our next one you can see is nice waiting for us right over here. So that's nice and easy to see. So wrap your yarn and go into the next stitch, two loops of that V on your hook and make two double crochets into that same stitch. And we're going to do the same thing all the way around. So each one of these stitches, these little dimples, each one of those dimples is going to get two double crochets. So you're just going to push your hook in and then if you lift your work up a little bit you'll see you have two loops of that V on your hook. That is what you want. So wrap your yarn and into each one two double crochets. One two. To the next, one, two. Keep doing this all the way around. So just pause the video, two double crochets into each stitch and I'll meet you when we get back over here. So now we have 32 double crochets, two into each stitch. Just make sure you have the right number. So we're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. So we're just going to count these loops going up. One, two, and three is right there. And this is also the top of our double crochet. So we're not going to go into the top of our double crochet. We're going to go into the chain right after it, this guy on the side. So push your hook in. You want two loops of that stitch on your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it through turn your hook and bring it through. So there is our slip stitch to join. And now we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Turn your work. And we're going to go right back into where we made our chain, which is this nice big space waiting for us right there. That is going to be our corner. So wrap your yarn into that hole, grab your yarn and bring it back and do your double crochet. So that counts as our first V and half of our first corner. Chain one. So now we're going to skip two stitches and because we turned our work, but there's one very tiny stitch. This stitch here, this one and the loop at the back, that little thing right there is a stitch. So that one is super easy to skip over, but we don't want to skip over it. This is a stitch. So right after our first V, there is a little tiny stitch. So if you kind of just look at your work, you'll see this little thing here. This is our first stitch. We're skipping that, we're skipping the second. We're gonna go into the third, which is right there. So it kind of looks like we're only skipping one, but this little guy counts as your first stitch. So wrap your yarn, skip the first little one that doesn't look like anything, skip the second, and into the third, one double crochet. And we're going to do two double crochets, one into each of the next two stitches. Here's our second and our third. So that is our first cake. Chain one, wrap your yarn, skip two more stitches. Now they look normal. There's these big dimples here. There's one, two, and into the third we're going to make our corner. So wrap your yarn and make a double crochet chain three, one, two, and three, wrap your yarn and one more double crochet into the very same stitch. So that is our first V, chain three, one, two, and three, and one more double crochet again into the first, into the same stitch. So that is our corner and that's what our corners are going to look like for this round. They're two V stitches stuck together. 
chain one, wrap your yarn, skip two stitches, one and two, and into the third, we're going to start our cake, so three double crochets into three stitches. So there's our first double crochet into the third stitch. Our next is into the fourth, and our last is into the fifth stitch. Just like that. Chain one, so that's our cake. Wrap your yarn, skip two stitches, one, two. Into the third, we're going to do our corner, which are two V stitches. So double crochet, chain three, wrap your yarn, double crochet, chain three, and double crochet, all into the same stitch. So there is our corner. Chain one, wrap your yarn, skip two, one, two. Into the third, we're going to start our cake, and our cake is three double crochets, one into each stitch. So there's one, two, and three. There's our cake. Chain one. Wrap your yarn, skip two, one, two. Into the third, we're going to do our corner, which is two V stitches. So double crochet, chain three, wrap your yarn, double crochet, chain three, wrap your yarn, and double crochet. Now if I'm going too fast, which I probably am, just pause the video and get caught up and then press play again. So there's our corner, and you can see it's kind of turning into a nice little square. Chain one, wrap your yarn, skip two, one, two, into the third, your first double crochet, and in the next, a double crochet, and in the last, a double crochet. So there are three double crochets in a row, one into each stitch. That's our cake. Chain one, wrap your yarn, and now we're going to skip two again, one, two, which lands us right back into where we did our first V's. We're just going to finish off that corner. So wrap your yarn and make one double crochet, chain three, and into the top of the chain three or the fourth chain over. I count the fourth chain over, it's easier for me. So I know that this is the top of my double crochet, it lines right up. So there's one, two, three. So it's gonna be that little guy on the side. So leave three open, one, two, and three, and go into the fourth. So one, two, three, leave them alone. Into the fourth one, just push your hook in. You want two loops of that stitch on your hook and slip stitch to join. Chain three, one, two, and three. So now we're just gonna alternate between doing our V's and cakes and our next row here. So we did our chain three, that counts as a double crochet. Turn your work, and now into the V, we're gonna do seven double crochets. Not including this chain, we're doing seven into this V and every V. So one. There's seven, so don't count your chain, just keep that behind. You need seven, not including the chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain one, wrap your yarn, and then into the cake, you put a candle. So into the center, into the second dimple over. So one, two, three, so you're going into the second one right here. Push your hook in, both strands of that V on your hook, and one double crochet like that, chain one. We chain one between everything other than in the very corner. Wrap your yarn into the next V. You're gonna do a shell of seven double crochets. So seven double crochets, one. And we're in our very corner here. We did that one double crochet into the, into the center of those two Vs. So that is always gonna get a double crochet. Whenever you see this stitch here, it gets a double crochet. We wanna just continue this line all the way out. So push your hook right into the top of that stitch, two loops of that V on your hook, and make one double crochet. 
So that just continues that line all the way out. And now seven double crochets into the V space. Chain one, and there's our cake. So put a candle in the center of your cake, just push your hook into that top of the double crochet and make one double crochet. Chain one, wrap your yarn and into the V, just jump straight over to the V and make seven double crochets. One. And in our corners, we don't do any chaining. We're just gonna work straight into that double crochet in the very corner. So make one double crochet into that stitch and now seven into the next space, the V-stitch space. There's our seven, chain one, candle into the cake. So wrap your yarn and put one double crochet into that center double crochet, that center stitch. Chain one, and now we're gonna do our corner again, which is seven double crochets, one double crochet into the stitch, and seven more double crochets. There is our corner, chain one, and put your candle in your cake. So center double crochet of your cake, wrap your yarn, go in, make your double crochet, two loops of that stitch on your hook, chain one, and now we're just gonna finish off our corner. So that is seven double crochets into this V space. So it looks like that. And we're going to just slip stitch to the top of our chain three. So just separate that out. We don't wanna go into the top of our double crochet. We wanna go into the chain right after it. Just that guy right there. You can count your chains going up or just skip your double crochet and go into the one right there, right beside the double crochet. So just push your hook in. You want two strands of that hook you want two strands of that stitch on your hook and slip stitch to join. Now when we end on a row with our shells, we're gonna do a chain six to start our next round. So this was a chain three and now we're gonna do a chain six. So we're just gonna alternate. This is a chain six, so there's three, four, five, and six. Turn your work and wrap your yarn. You're gonna go right back in to where you started where your chain was, so right back into this spot there. You can just follow your yarn back. This is the stitch that goes back down into the row and then it goes right into that space there. So just follow your chain down and make one double crochet into the exact same spot. Like that. Chain one. So skip two stitches and we're counting our stitches by these dimples. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is over there. So we're gonna skip one and two, and we're gonna go into the third stitch. And we wanna go in just like that, so we have two loops of that V on our hook. So wrap your yarn, skip two, one and two, go into the third. So now we're back to building our cakes. So there's one double crochet, 
Here's our second into the next stitch. And here's our third, like that. That's our cake, chain one. So there is our candle. Every candle gets a V-stitch. So wrap your yarn and go into the top of that candle. One double crochet, chain three, and wrap your yarn and one more double crochet. So that is how we do our V-stitches and every candle gets a V-stitch. Chain one, wrap your yarn, and now we're gonna do a cake. So skip two of these dimples, one and two, go into the third, with a double crochet and then make two more, one inch each stitch for a total of three. Our cakes are always three double crochets in a row. There is our cake, chain one. Now we're gonna find our corner double crochet, that double crochet we made into the stitch. So just isolate it with your fingers so you know which one it is and then you'll see the spot at the top. So wrap your yarn and go into that stitch and we're gonna do two V stitches, so double crochet chain three, wrap your yarn, double crochet into the same stitch, chain three, wrap your yarn and double crochet into the same stitch again. So there is the same one we did before, our two, double cro our two V stitches together, that's for every corner, chain one, wrap your yarn, and now we're gonna build a cake into the shell. So skip two stitches, and three double crochets just into the top of that shell, one into each stitch. If you've done too many or not enough shells in the row below, don't worry about it. Just kind of wing it and get your three, get your cake built somewhere in the center of that shell. Chain one and into the top of the candle, we do a V. So that is double crochet, chain three and double crochet. There's our V into the candle. Chain one, wrap your yarn and into the first part of that corner shell, we're gonna do a cake. So skip two dimples and start your cake in the third. So we're gonna make three double crochets, one into each stitch. Like that. Chain one. And then find that center one again and go into it to make your next corner. So wrap your yarn and make one double crochet, a chain three, one double crochet, a chain three, and one more double crochet all into that same stitch. Like that. Chain one, wrap your yarn, skip two of these dimples or these stitches, into the third, start building your cake. Cakes are three double crochets, one into each stitch. Chain one, find your candle into the top of the candle, a V stitch. So double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. Chain one, and now we're back to our corner, so this is gonna be a cake into this shell. So skip two dimples, start your cake in the third. One, two, three double crochets, one into each stitch. Chain one, find your center double crochet. Do a V stitch, so double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three again. Wrap your yarn and one more double crochet into the same stitch. So that is our corner. Chain one, and into this shell we're gonna do our cake. So skip two, start your cake on the third. So three double crochets, one into each stitch. Like that, chain one, look for your candle, V-stitch, so double crochet, chain three, and double crochet all into the top of your candle. Chain one, and do a cake into our last shell. Skip two, start your cake on the third stitch. So three double crochets, one into each stitch to make your cake. Chain one, and now we're just gonna finish off our corner. So wrap your yarn and go right into the very same stitch that we started on, double crochet, chain three, and slip stitch to the top of the chain three or the fourth chain across. So there's my double crochet, 
one, two, three. Here is my fourth one across or my third one up. You want two loops of that stitch on your hook and just slip stitch to join. And because we ended with V's, we're gonna be doing double crochets. So our turning chain is gonna be a turning chain of three. So one, two, and three. Turn your work. And you know what to do now. Seven double crochets into the, the first V stitch. Chain one, and our cake gets a candle. So one candle into the center of that cake. Just one double crochet, chain one. Then our V-stitch gets seven double crochets, chain one. Our cake gets a candle, which is one double crochet, chain one. Our V gets seven double crochets, and I'll meet you over there, just to show you that corner one more time. are seven and remember in the in the very corners we have this double crochet that's going to be a line running all the way along our blanket so every row has a double crochet into this double crochet so we're never going to forget that we're going to do it every single round so push your hook in one double crochet into that stitch just keep this corner line running and then keep going seven double crochets chain one candle, chain one, seven double crochets, chain one, candle, chain one, and then there you are at your corner again. Seven double crochets, one double crochet into the post or into that first, that center stitch, seven double crochets, and just keep going all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to here. So I've done my seven double crochets into that last V. We don't have to work into our double crochet because we did our chain right in that double crochet. So that's already been worked into. So now we're just gonna kind of pull it aside and you can see the one that goes with your double crochet. We just wanna slip stitch to the one right beside it. Just that empty, just that chain right beside it. So push your hook in, two loops on your hook and slip stitch to join. So now we finished with a shell, a the full shell row. So now we're gonna start by making a V. So it's a chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six and turn your work. Wrap your yarn, go into right where you started. So if you just separate everything, trace that back down, you'll see you go right into there. And then just lay your yarn along the side. Ooh, and get that double crochet done. So there's our first V. And now we're just gonna keep working around. So this is one row we, when we did the shells and the candles. And now we are gonna be doing Vs and cakes. So shells get a cake. Candles get a V, shells get a cake, candles get a V. One chain in between everything except for the corners. So now just keep going, alternating between doing your rows of V stitches and cakes or shells and candles until your blanket is the size you want or you run out of yarn. So it takes about three balls to make a really nice size baby blanket, about 34 inches square or about five or six balls to make a really nice adult size blanket. So they'd be really great for the patio, really great for spring, they'd be lovely in cotton, they're just wonderful. So this is a really great pattern. It works up really quick. It's easy once you get the hang of the two rows and just repeating them. It just grows in length and size every round. It's really great. And you can just stop whenever you run out of yarn or it's the size you want because it's always gonna be a square, really handy, and it's a great way to start and work on baby blankets.